Good day and welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for refreshing breezes. Lord, we thank you for the changing seasons. And Lord, we thank you for this day. And everything you've put into it, Lord, that you may show us your might and power, but also your grace and forgiveness, Lord, that we, as we come into this day, we might leave yesterday behind, recognizing the lessons we were meant to learn, recognizing the mistakes we've made that we need to try and correct. But Lord, only you can bring us to that place where the things we do and the people we are are fulfilled and fulfilling. And so, Lord, we ask for your mercy, your grace, that we might encounter each other with open arms and the situations with open minds. Lord, there's a lot before us. Lord, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to be about in your kingdom. And so, Lord, we ask for mercy and strength. Lord, and we pray for those who already ahead of us, around us, behind us, working with us, working under us, working over us, Lord, are all about that work too. We pray for the building up of your kingdom and we pray for the, the work of your church. Lord, it's not just a Sunday thing. It, it's, it's new every day. It's engaged in praise. And Lord, we are looking for ways to, to do our part. Lord, help us to love our neighbor. Yeah, that neighbor, that neighbor we can't stand and, and the ones that we love spending time with too. Lord, help us to love our neighbors the communities that you've put us in, the nations that we're a part of, this world that we're meant to care for. Lord, teach us to do a better job of that. Lord, there's so much to repair from the negligence and, and the abuse of, of, of the past. Lord, we all have a part in that. Lord, help us to take responsibility. Lord, help us all to be the responsible people you mean, you mean for us to be. You created us to be. And Lord, we pray for those who are going to be following our example, our children. Lord, may they learn the lessons of faith and not the hard way that we did, but the true way that Jesus teaches in, in, in your word and in the life he calls us to lead before one another. Bless us in that life together this day. In Christ we pray. Amen. Turning today to the book of Job, Job chapter 14, reading at verse 7. For there is hope of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Though the root thereof wax old in the earth, and the stalk thereof die in the ground, yet through the scent of water will it bud, it will bud, and bring forth boughs like a plant. <clears throat> this is the time and season where we begin to look, looking at the Old Testament, we look to that wonderful passage from Isaiah, from Isaiah chapter 11. And we look for that root of Jesse once again, the stem of Jesse. And you wonder what Job is writing about here. When everything seems like there's nothing left. And certainly for, for God's people waiting for the Messiah, this line of David, when all their kings are foreign kings and their governors are foreign governors, and where are the family lines? When all of that seems torn apart, there comes Christ of the line of David, of the stem of Jesse, the, the, the root of Jesse. We look at the life of the church now. And we see churches struggling in all sorts of places and churches changing in all sorts of places. And we wonder, Lord, uh, where is the root of, of faith? Where is the root of our, of our hope? And where it's always been. And that's what Job's getting at. It's in the Lord. It's in the Lord's grace. It's in the provision, in, the, in, in even the way that nature's built. That some, some stump of a tree... Will, 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 after sitting there idle for years and years, will suddenly break forth a plant from its root. That's, that's the reality of the natural world and the example that Job points to for us to look in our spiritual life. You think there's nothing left? You think there's, there's no hope in believing that, that your faith is gone? Look to that stump of faith. 
Look to that ancient root, that line of faith that goes back before you and find your hope there. Because God is waiting to answer that prayer, to, to believe again, and to bring you to newness of life. God bless and keep you. Amen.